Good morning. Welcome to today's exclusive video. In this video, I'll be telling us the difference between three very common terms, I mean very popular terms, and they are <coughs> efflorescence, deliquescence, and hygroscopy. What is an efflorescent substance? What is a deliquescent substance? And what does it mean to say that a substance is hygroscopic? Now, I'd like to tell you that <clears throat> this one is like the opposite of those two. An efflorescent substance is a substance that loses weight when exposed to the atmosphere. Now, why would it lose weight upon exposure to the atmosphere? Because it actually loses part of its water, what we call water of crystallization, to the atmosphere. So by losing part of its water, it loses weight. Its weight decreases. So of course you may hear a question like, a certain compound X was exposed to the atmosphere and after some time, its weight decreased. The substance is therefore dash. The answer would be efflorescent. Then on the other hand, deliquescent and hygroscopic substances gain weight when exposed to the atmosphere. Now the idea is, when you expose a substance to the atmosphere, please get this um, clearly. If I take a substance, expose it to the atmosphere, and then it is able to absorb water from the atmosphere. I will refer to that substance as hygroscopic. That it absorbed water at all from the atmosphere makes it hygroscopic. Now the next question will be, having absorbed water from the atmosphere, does the substance just get wet or sticky? Or does the substance dissolve in the water that it has absorbed to form solution? If it only gets wet or sticky, but does not dissolve in the water, I will leave the name of that substance at hygroscopic. Remember, the instant it absorbed water, it already became hygroscopic. Now, for failing to dissolve in the water and just getting wet, it remains hygroscopic. But if the substance dissolves in the water to form a solution, then it moves beyond that. We begin to describe the substance as deliquescent. Which means a deliquescent substance is a hygroscopic substance that dissolved in the water. Whereas a hygroscopic substance that did not dissolve in the water absorbed remains hygroscopic. So it therefore follows that all deliquescent substances are hygroscopic but not all hygroscopic substances are deliquescent, only the ones that dissolve in the water. Now, I'll give you some examples of these different classes of compounds for the fluorescent. Like I said, you would usually see them with water of crystallization. So this is one of them. We call it washing soda. Then we also have something like global salt. Global salt is also deliquescent. And then um, there's this next one we have. We call it blue vitriol. All of those are their trivial names though. So blue vitriol, global salt, and um, washing soda are examples of efflorescent substances. Then for the deliquescent ones, we have things like um, uh, iron 3 chloride, it is deliquescent. Sodium hydroxide is deliquescent. Potassium hydroxide, you know, the caustics, caustic soda, caustic potash, they are all deliquescent. Then we have the hygroscopic compounds like um, copper 2 oxide, um, calcium oxide, which is quick lime, and then of course concentrated sulfuric acid. All of those are examples of hygroscopic substances. Now, there's this um, jump pass question that says, all deliquescent substances are also, they put different options, I think there was an hydros, there was hygroscopic and so on. Now, based on what we've said, all deliquescent substances are hygroscopic. Then, you would come across a question again, I think that's also in JAM, where it says, drying agents are usually there was deliquescent, hygroscopic, but of course the answer becomes what's all of the above. 
I mean, both of them are correct. But if we were to pick one, which of these two really describes everything? Of course, it's hygroscopy. So those are the three terms on the board. I've told you their meanings. I've told you how these two are related. And of course, I've given you examples of each. So until our next exclusive video, please keep watching and keep subscribing. Remember, it is free to subscribe. You don't pay a dime to get subscribed to this channel. Instead, you enjoy tons of benefits, such as receiving a notification when a video like this hits the channel. So thank you for subscribing. For those who have not subscribed, ensure you do so after watching this video.